What's going on guys? It's taken two and a half years and I've tested 34 different products in two and a half years, but I have finally found the best undercoating product out on the market. Let me explain. So those of you that are familiar with my channel um, have seen some of my other videos where I've done testing, like I said, on 34 different undercoating products in two separate videos. And then every year I also do a uh, kind of like an annual update on my own vehicle and my father's vehicle, both of which I spray with fluid film every year. And I live in Akron, Ohio, and typically in this area, you're lucky to get you know, 10 to 12 years out of a vehicle without, you know, some sort of major panel on the vehicle being completely rusted through to the point that you could put multiple fingers through it. So, as you guys are aware, I'm very familiar with what is out there on the market as far as undercoating. So back in early January of 2021, I was contacted by the Blaster Corporation. Um, yes, this Blaster Corporation, the makers of PB Blaster. Um, they're only about 10 or 15 miles from my house and uh, they sent me an email saying, hey, um, we've got a new undercoating product that you have not tested. Um, you've tested one of our products, but this isn't it. The product that I tested in the past was Corrosion Stop and they said, this is not Corrosion Stop. This is to something totally different that is lanolin based. We want your opinion on it. So I stopped by, they gave me a five gallon bucket and you know, like six or eight aerosol cans. And uh, you know, I've been playing with the product for like seven months and I haven't told you guys about it. So as far as the product, what is it? They're calling it Surface Shield. And it is a lanolin based type undercoating, just like fluid film, just like wool wax, and just like a lot of the other um, undercoatings that are out on the market right now. Um, what intrigued me about this stuff when I got it is they claim it's supposed to last for two years without, you know, reapplication. So you don't have to do an annual application every year according to what's written on the can. Now, I've had this for seven months and uh, we're gonna go through some of the tests that I've done with this stuff in seven months and I'm gonna physically show you why this stuff is better than fluid film, it's better than wool wax, and for, in my eyes, it's the best product out on the market right now. All the testing that I've done on all these different, you know, 34 different products that I've tested, they all have one of two different attributes. Um, they're either super thin and will creep and penetrate like they're supposed to and work really well, but they cannot stand high pressure water spray. The products that can stand high pressure water spray don't creep. So you either get one or the other in my experience until I tried this product. Before we start making comparisons here, guys, I just wanna say all three of these products that we're about to talk about are all thoroughly mixed. They're all the exact same temperature. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys what makes them drastically different. So when I got a hold of this Surface Shield and I really started using it, there was one big thing that I noticed right off the bat compared to the fluid film and the wool wax that I was using. So if you guys take a look here, you guys take a look here, 71.6, 70.5, 70 71.2. So all three of these buckets are within a degree of one another. I grab a spoon, check this out. So if you notice, the surface shield is basically like water. Um, it self levels super, super quickly in the bucket and it's very thin. So when you come over here and do the same thing to fluid film, You can still sort of see the path that the uh, spoon took through the fluid film as compared to that. So if you do the you do the same thing to wool wax and the results are pretty expected. So same deal. 
So if you're trying to coat in an inner cavity, this is what you want. You don't want something super thick like wool wax because it will not creep, it will not migrate, and it won't get into the cracks and crevices of the vehicle and keep them from rusting. Surface Shield will. So typically when I deal with a product that is that thin like Surface Shield, it does not hold up at all. Any product that I've tested that has been that thin has never held onto the surface. So naturally when I open the lid on that five gallon container and I said to myself, oh, here we go, this isn't gonna work. And I was dead wrong, let me show you. All right guys, out here at the road, I'm doing the pull test again. So this is a bear control, this is fluid film, this is surface shield. Um, the only thing I can say about the surface shield is it did change color a little bit. Um, but if I wipe some of this back, I mean, it's still clean. So, like I said, this is fluid film, and there's a little bit of rust show in there. So my other tests that I did were five months long. I'm sitting at seven months right now, and I want to keep this thing going for like two years to see if this actually, you know, lives up to its reputation of being uh, a two-year coating. So as of, as of right now, my results that I've gotten from my pull test have been, quite frankly, as good as it gets. So in addition to my pull test, I also sprayed a couple little spots on my truck. I'll show you guys that now. Um, this by far was the most impressive thing about the product. I did not expect this whatsoever. All right guys, so to me, this was the most impressive part. So I sprayed this mud flap hardware down here and I sprayed this in January, guys. It's almost August. It's still there. Um, now remember, you can pour this stuff out of a bucket like water, but it's resilient enough that two inches behind the tire, it stays on the surface. Just to prove to you guys that this isn't something that I sprayed like a week ago, and uh, you know, which is clinging onto the surface, just like, you know, regular fluid film up there. I'm gonna bust out the pressure washer. I'm gonna hit this with a pressure washer and I'm gonna show you guys this stuff will stay. So guys, if you take a look here, you know, the surface is still a little wet, but that is the fluid film. This is the surface shield. Surface shield is still there. Um, I've got some theories as to why this stays on the surface, but as far as the formulation of the product, obviously there's something drastically different here. So as you guys can tell, I'm very excited about this stuff. Um, going forward, 100%, I'm gonna be transitioning into 100% surface shield, but as you guys saw, I've got about three gallons of fluid film and about three gallons of wool wax that I gotta use before I can you know, make that transition over to surface shield. Um, with that said, there are a couple cons with this product. Um, first thing is, the only way it's available right now is the aerosol cans. That five gallon bucket that I showed you earlier, that was something that I got for the beta test. So that is not something that's available right now in late July, early August of 2021. Um, as far as the ETA, when those bulk one gallon and five gallon sizes are gonna be available, that's gonna to have to come from Blaster because I'm not, I don't know that information. So I can't give you guys a good answer when that stuff is gonna be out. Um, next issue is, is gonna be availability. So the only place that you can get this right now is Home Depot. So if you guys paid attention to the beginning of the video, that is why this is a paid video because I cannot affiliate market this through my Amazon links. The only place you can get this right now is Home Depot. The only way you can get it right now is with these aerosol cans. Um, about the aerosol cans, so as far as coverage, what I did was I brought my fiance's Ford Escape into the shop. I sprayed it with the aerosol cans just to give you guys an idea of like a Ford Escape compact SUV how many cans are you gonna go through to cover a vehicle? Um, I used about two and a half cans. Really wasn't all that much. Um, again, that's gonna depend on the type of vehicle you're working with, 
um, you know, how thick you're putting the coating on, things like that. So if you're doing like a pickup truck, I would say pick up, you know, a full case. A case is uh, six cans. In regards to aerosol cans, I made this very clear to Blaster very early on in my beta test. Um, my biggest issue with these aerosol cans is the can itself is not compatible with a traditional inner cavity spray tool. So the inner cavity spray tools, the ones that I found like this online, have a male end. Well, this also has a male end on the can, so you cannot attach the two together. Therefore, with an aerosol can, you cannot spray an internal cavity with surface shield. That is a big deal. And I made that very clear to them very early on. Um, but once the bulk product comes out, you can spray it with a traditional sprayer, like I've shown you guys in multiple videos at this point, um, without any issues at all. So one other quick note here, guys, is gonna be the smell. So this surface shield does have a smell to it. Um, it's not nearly as potent or as strong, in my opinion, as fluid film, but it kind of has like a, like a cedar um, smell to it. So if you guys have ever been in a cedar closet, it kind of smells like a cedar closet. Wool wax by far of the three, wool wax has the least smell. Um, but again, just like, just like fluid film and wool wax, in a couple days, the smell dissipates and you can't tell that you know, you've sprayed the vehicle. So guys, I think things are gonna get interesting out in the undercoating market because of this product. Um, I think you're gonna see um, other companies start to reformulate and basically knock off what I just showed you guys here in order to try and get a two year uh, you know, application rate. At any rate, it's gonna be uh, real interesting. I hope for blaster's sake that doesn't happen, but I could totally see a bunch of other people in the undercoating industry trying to rip off this formulation. So guys, I'll have a link in the description to the Surface Shield at Home Depot if you guys wanna take a look at it. It's relatively inexpensive, um, but unfortunately, like I said, it's only been out for about a month right now, and that's the only place that you can get it. So I'll have a link to that on Home Depot. Um, the other thing I'll have a link to are um, these spray handles for doing you know, the aerosol cans. If you guys are interested, these are on Amazon. Um, they work really, really well. I was kind of surprised. Um, but yeah, as always guys, if you guys like the video, hit like, you want to see more content, go down and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.